Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, The Media Nerd. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to manually clean the Sony 8mm Handycam. This particular model is a DCR TRV 280 and it is a bottom loading camera. So your tape just goes right in the bottom like this. So why would you want to manually clean or clean your, your camera? Here's the scenario. You find it in your closet. It's 20 years old. You find your tapes. They're 20, 25 years old. You put it in your camera. It starts to play okay. You can see a picture. Everything is going good. And then all of a sudden, you start to see a little bit of static, these like little stars coming across the screen. And then it just starts getting thicker and thicker and heavier and more and more stars. And then it just goes to blue screen and you'll probably lose audio as well. Well, why is that happening? It's because the heads are getting clogged from your old tape. The tape is just, it's deteriorating and it's starting to break off these little micro micro pieces and clogging in the heads. So in the past, what I've always done, which works great, is I use an eight millimeter tape cleaner. You just pop it in, play it for 20 seconds, take it back out, and then you can put your tape in and it starts running and playing fine again until, of course, the heads start to clog because it is deteriorating. So. What's the issue with this? The issue with these cleaning tapes, you can't find them on Amazon any longer. They used to be readily available, but not anymore. And uh, when I found them on eBay, they were like $45, $50 for a new one, for a used one, I mean. And if you're lucky enough to find a new one, they're charging like $100. It's ridiculous. So putting the tape cleaner aside, we're going to clean it manually and what I have is some chamois swabs that I found on Amazon and I'll put the link to these in the description of this video. You need some Audio 456 THC-2 head cleaner. This can be found on Etsy, not Amazon. I'll put a link to that and you can use rubbing alcohol. That's fine. Uh, this is 70% and you need a little Phillips head screwdriver. You know, in past videos when I cleaned a VCR and I cleaned the heads, I would use a Q-tip and that works pretty good. But people say that, you know, the fibers of the Q-tip, they're going to get stuck in the head of the camera and it's going to pull these little metal things out and it's going to ruin your camera permanently. I've never had an issue with that before. I just want to be clear. I've used Q-tips in the past, but you know, go on the safe side and buy the chamois swabs. They're a little pricey, but it's well worth it. You just don't want to ruin your camera. So let's go ahead and take this apart so we can get at the head and clean it. So let's go ahead and take off this cover right here. The easiest thing to do first is to Take the strap off because see it's in this little metal latch right here and you won't be able to take the cover off with the strap on so let's go ahead and take the strap off and eject it now that it's ejected unplug it and also make sure that there's not a battery in there as well you don't want to <clears throat> mess with it with juice running through it. We have three screws on this particular model. There's one on the side right here and there's two on the bottom. Go ahead and take off the screw and let's get this screw out and the third screw. Now that the screws are off, this should be able to lift right off. There we go. Now that we have the lid off, you should be able to see 
this little circular drum that's right in there. It's circle. So that is what we want to clean with our chamois swab. Pull out a chamois. They have cleaners on both ends. We're just gonna use one. And I'm gonna use this Audio 456. And just dip it right in there and get it wet. And let's see if we can just get in there and get that clean. I'm just gonna take it and sort of do the best I can to wipe it back and forth. And inside there's these little holes that the tape gets read from. So what we wanna do is find those little holes. There's one right there. And I just wanna wipe over top of it. See if I can actually spin this camera so you can see it. So, I can't really see what I'm doing right now. Well, sort of, I'm using the monitor, but I'm wiping it over the head and it should hopefully be spinning while I'm doing that. But I am definitely turning it while I'm swabbing it. And you can noticeably see, I'm hoping you can see that, that little hole in the drum and that's the sensor. Yeah, it's right up on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get in there and keep swabbing it. I gotta tell you the tape cleaner is the easiest way to do this, but beggars can't be choosers when those tape cleaners are 50 to $100. I gotta tell you the used ones, they're used. So they're not gonna really work because they've, who knows how many times they've been used. You can only use these tape cleaners like maybe a half a dozen times before they start to wear out themselves. So if it was really dirty, you could start seeing black on the uh, swab. This particular unit was pretty clean, but I'm just gonna keep turning and swabbing and turning and swabbing. That should do it. That should do it. It should be cleaned off by now. There's all these other little parts in there as well you can try to take your swab and clean those if you want. But the head is going to be most important for this particular video. But if you can also see in there, there's other little metal things. There's pinch rollers in there. There's all these little gears right in here. You know, if you can see the black pinch roller and those little metal ones coming up, you can try to take your swab and give those a little clean as well while you're in there. Gotta tell you, it's really not the easiest, but it'll definitely do the trick. And there are a few of those little sensors that you're gonna wanna try to clean off. Okay, so once that is done, you can just go ahead and uh, go right in reverse. You can lay this right back on top here. Find your screws. Thankfully, they didn't roll off. Start with the bottom. Boy, that would suck if uh, they fell off and inside while this is open. I think you gotta have really nimble fingers There's the two bottom ones. Take care of this top screw. There we go. Let's plug it back in. Hopefully it'll just close right back up.
And that is one clean Sony 8mm Handycam. It wasn't too bad. Now, you most likely don't want to use that same tip again, so you can just take scissors and, you know, snip it off so you have the fresh side and then put it back in your bag. So cleaning this unit wasn't too bad. There was only three little screws to take the face plate off and uh, using the swab to get in there and clean things out. I think you're gonna find it a lot easier and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when you do it yourself. Remember, I do have the swabs, the cleaning solution, and even a link to this camera in the video description so you can be able to buy it and do it all yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to write them in the comment section. And please remember to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day.